Oh, gods of inspiration, please help me create this video. <laughs> oh, my God. So, you're here for inspiration, right? Good. I am exactly the same, and that's why I'm making this video. Now, some people would be like, hey, you don't need inspiration. Just pick anything and start working on that, whether you feel motivated or not, you know. Discipline! I'd like to disagree. Well, there is, there well, while there is a place for discipline, uh, I don't think it's a good solution for long-term projects. Like, you know, this very YouTube channel, or maybe you're working on a game or your own YouTube channel or whatever. And I'd say discipline is good occasionally, but don't rely on on it too much. Why? Well, for one, you don't want to create a negative relationship with your creative work, right? You don't want to rather to be like, oh, I gotta force myself again to work on this. No, no. Bad solution for the long term. Could work short term, but no. We have big dreams and big plans, so we need something more reliable than that. Also, if you feel inspired to work on something, it's like 10 times faster and feels 10 times better. So you're 10 times more productive. So actually, if it takes you like, if you need to skip like nine sessions to get one really good session out of it, that's worth it, right? Because you make up for it if it's that much more efficient and motivating and effective. So another win for following inspiration and lastly oh what was i gonna say lastly um oh yeah especially for video it's very important to um bring the right energy to it but honestly this goes for any creative project right you don't want to create something with an energy that's like Ugh. I'm dreading this and I need to force something. No, it's gonna project in the video and in the creative work, whatever you're working on, it's gonna come true. And you don't want that. So, inspiration. What do we do? Well, usually I just go with the flow and trust my feelings on what I want to do. So for the past week, I had trouble coming up with an idea for this video so I was just like okay um, I'm gonna trust my feelings and do other stuff and you know what other stuff I did I played some games I wanted to play I watched some videos that usually gives me some inspiration I went on walks and I meditated a bit uh, <laughs> You know, the further we got into the week, the more I was like, oh God, um, the deadline is nearing. Um, please, reality, I kind of need inspiration right now. And then I started looking at, like, at the Reddit threads and I see other questions people have and problems people are facing. And I'm like, okay, maybe it can help with that. But nothing really felt aligned you know so what do you do and even after all that trusting and going with the flow an idea still doesn't seem to pop up right it can happen and people say no just trust your feelings more but no it can really happen and today my deadline for a video and i'm like an idea still hasn't popped up come on guys <laughs> So here's what I do. The problem is I'm building up way too much pressure. It's like, oh God, um, excuse me, I'm gonna try to keep this as PG as possible, but it's, inspiration is kind of like getting aroused, <laughs> right? Because you can't force it. You can't be like, come on, I, I, wanna, I want this sexual drive, <laughs> right? I can't believe I'm going with this, but it's a really good comparison. Um, you, 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 it's not like you just activate it, you know? How do you, how do you get aroused? You look at, uh, or you think of, you know, sexually hinted stuff or, or romantic stuff. And then, you know, it slowly builds up. 
And if you put too much pressure on that, it just doesn't work. It's like... <laughs> it, uh, I, uh. <laughs> It's definitely not just a switch you can turn on. So you need to relax, calm down, and just let the thoughts and the ideas flow. Let's try to keep this topic a bit more PG again. It's kind of like doing a Google search. It's like, okay, this is what I want. I want an idea for a video. So you Google. I want an idea for this video to help people or something like that. And you get no search results or very bad search results. What do you do when that happens? Do you type the same search result in again and again? Of course not. You try different stuff. You try a different angle to ask the question. Or you broaden it. You Google something like, instead of like a video idea, you're just like, okay, how can I help people and this is kind of how i set intentions as well like the google search yes this is a much better comparison <laughs> if my first google search doesn't create the results i just try something else and something else and something else until something eventually comes up that's like okay i can work with this and even if there are all that you still don't get something which is unlikely but still possible it's kind of like reality's way of saying hey decide for yourself you can do whatever anything is possible here the problem we usually get into is we have like a specific idea how to do something but there are multiple thousands millions of ways to do a certain thing and that's why i decided to film this in my pjs <laughs> you know because if the traditional way isn't working i try to be as divergent as possible i try different stuff and one thing i often relied on is filming a different way or a different place i didn't really feel like doing that at this particular thing but it has worked in the past and maybe it can work for your project as well maybe if you write in the same place or in the same way you can do it in a different place or a different way by for example recording voice or something or having a conversation with someone just try different google search terms i think what's most important here is just that you trust your intuition a reality or whatever you believe in if you don't believe in reality intuition okay you at least gotta believe in that right <laughs> trust that and don't be too dependent on the outcome or needy here is one more example for you it's like a party and you're talking to like one person at the party and you're like talk to me back okay and the real and the conversation is like that and it's not working but you're like please i need this to work and there are like hundreds of other attendees but you're just like focused on this one person and you're like talk to me please and you just grab them out of the party into a separate room and you're like i need inspiration please give it to me and then they're like, uh, dude, they're like dozens of other people at this party. But you're like, no, I need it from you. I need it from you. And you're like, okay, and this relationship is now really tense and it's not working out. And you are just obsessed with this one person. That's kind of how it also works with ideas. Sometimes you're just so obsessed in a certain method or way that you try to force it but again forcing it is not the way you need to trust that you know there's an entire party going on and there are other guests and you can talk to them and hey if you're not a social person like me there are probably also activities at that party you can attend to so why don't you try that basically reality is saying there's an entire party going on Ruben don't be just focused on this one thing. No, I need this one. No, 
No, no, you don't. <laughs> okay, I hope those um, metaphors brought you some inspiration <laughs> or ideas, or at least helped you in a way. Okay, this has been a pretty wacky video, but I hope you guys like this kind of thing. All right, see you on the next one. Party. Here is a suggested video, and here you can subscribe. Do, 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 do. Actually, I do it the other way around, but it's okay.